we're going to be manual muscle testing flexor pollicis brevis. Now to help differentiate it versus flexor pollicis longus, longus is inserting into the distal phalanx and brevis is into the proximal phalanx. So as much as we can, we're gonna get our person not to try to curl her distal phalanx here, um, but more focus on just this proximal phalanx. So the origin being on our trapezium, so it's crossing the carpal metacarpal joint and then crossing the metacarpal phalangeal joint. So it is doing flexion at both of these two joints. So for the active range of motion, I'm gonna have you perform something like this for me. Excellent. And then I'm gonna bring her part way into that motion and say, please don't let me move you as I pull back for five, four, three, two, one. And again, even though she was adding some flexion from her distal phalanx, my resistance was on that middle one, so not on the distal component. And we're gonna start with a thumb out and I'm gonna resist her going through the motion. Go ahead and curl that thumb in, curl, curl, excellent. So for our lengthening position for this, again, because it's doing flexion at both of these two joints, CMC and MCP, I'm going to be holding on to that proximal phalanx, bringing her into extension at both of those two joints without including our distal phalanx in it. So this will be the lengthening for flexor pollicis brevis.